Bethany Crouch is live with more hanging out with Bethany the alpaca. Good morning, you guys. Yeah, I'm having the time of my life with little, uh, <laughs> little Bethany, as they are calling her, who has just discovered that mulberry leaves are delicious. They taste like candy. I want to swing on over here to Miss Vicky and take a look at what she has created. So much talent. Okay, Vicky, you've got some legacy in the alpaca business because the first alpaca was imported in 1984. And when did you get yours? I bought my first alpaca in 1985, and she was a 1984 import from Chile. So you were on the the cutting edge. You were. A, the cusp when this was just first starting and now well there's countless alpaca <laughs> across the united states uh this weekend celebrating national alpaca farm days ah oh, sweet alpacas here in vacaville that is where we are located mr bruce nelson who we have visited on multiple occasions um because we love you but also we we, we love your alpaca friends um got to swing on over here to bruce barry and bruce you've got a story to tell you were watching a little show called Good Day Sacramento back in May, and, and what did you think? Uh, the alpacas are very cute. Yeah, he saw the segment back in May, and so then what happened, Bruce? We bought seven alpacas. <laughs> Good Day Sacramento, changing lives one alpaca rancher at a time. This is little Robert E., who has grown tremendously, um, and you know they are working on the altar or the the halter training. The halter training, Vicky has has taught me. Halters go on the face, harnesses go on the chest. I, I myself am not an alpaca rancher, so I have lots to learn. I'm going to swing on over here to Miss Bethany and her friend Rachel. And Rachel, you discovered alpacas when you were 12 and it's really helped to shape your entire life. Yeah, definitely. I came out in September to National Alpaca Farm Days, uh, the year I started seventh grade here in Vacaville, and uh, I basically never left. <laughs> and she has been helping Bruce ever since. Okay, so you have an opportunity to bring the kids, come on out and meet these sweet little babies, including Denea and her little namesake, Denea, who, Denea seems like she's doing pretty well. She seems very calm. She's very calm. I think I found a spot and she's good to just <laughs> hang out at the moment. She's like, this, yeah, this spot right here on the neck, this spot, you just, you, you keep rubbing that spot. I like it a lot. I want to swing back over here to Vicki to just talk a little bit about what inspired you to get into the alpaca business. Well, what is it about these animals that's so special? Well, I was originally attracted to the cuteness factor. I mean, who isn't, right? I Honestly? I had no <laughs> idea about fiber. I never thought I would spin. I didn't know people did hand spinning. But it's become a lifestyle to me that I love. I couldn't wait to retire so I could be a full-time alpaca rancher. I love that. I love that so much. And the incredible things that you can make with the fiber from the alpaca. I just want us to swing on over here to the, the crafts table. And Miss Charlene with Integrity Alpacas, she's going to be out here this weekend as well. They're going to have a craft table for the kiddos if your own little kids. Signal we're losing the signal oh, there. Yeah. We had to get out of there, but uh, that's a great time if you want to go get up close and personal yes, with some alpacas. Weekend. And you In said you did. So look at you. I think, I think the kids will love it. I love it. Well, his sound.